Hey T Squad, it's me Keisha and I'm here with a new Spill the Tea video. <clears throat> you remember earlier this year? Was it earlier this year or was it last year? I don't remember. But anywho, we all remember that Nia Long's ex fiance baby daddy cheated on her with somebody over there at the facility on the basketball team. That he was coaching. Some white lady child. Humiliated our girl. She left him. He got fired. I think he might be working for another team or something now. Don't give me the line child. But they've been together for quite some time. They share a son with each other. And everything. Um. Well. Even though she suffered heartbreak and humiliation. Our girl is going to do great. When it comes to the finances. So it was reported yesterday that Nia Long and her ex, Aimee Aduka, have settled their custody battle and the famous actress will be getting over $32,000 in monthly child support. Over $32,000. Do y'all know it's people in this world that only make $32,000 a year? I was one of those people at one point in my life. And this lady about to be making $32,000 a month. Girl, get your life. Get your life. Shit, let me, time, let me see how much that is a year. $32,000 times 12. That is $384,000 a year, a year, a year. Girl, she could set that little boy up great, honey. They can all be over there living a good life off of that man dying, which they all should be. Mm-hmm. So in the settlement negotiated by Long's powerhouse attorney, Samantha Spector, the actress is giving her ex-boyfriend a break on support, given that she is a high earning actress and businesswoman, which basically means I could have got more. But I'm giving you grace <laughs> on some stormy ish from Love and Marriage Huntsville. She could have dragged him like he dragged her. But she said, you know what? I ain't going to even do you like that. Because God don't like ugly. Mm. You a better woman than me because I would have. Um, the settlement states that Uduka's monthly disposable income. This is disposable. This ain't even money that he got to pay bills with and live. This is cough money. Is $465,804. And their son resides with her 95% of the time. The payment for child support would be $56,389. Girl. Nia. I understand you a woman of high value, but girl, you should have, you should have took every last bit of it. Every last bit of it. I wouldn't even care that I got paper myself. Nah, give it up. Give it up. No, that was get it up. Yeah, TLC. Girl, I would have got that money. Forget that. Mm -mm, mm -mm. You cheated on me with a coworker. I had to find out on the internet with everybody else. And I'm raising our son 95% of the time, which means you're nowhere to be found. You're basically a single mother. Yeah, give me all of that, sir. Give me all of it. However, the pair who separated in 2022, okay, so this happened in 2022, was last year. Well, year before last. Following revelations of Aduka's involvement with a Boston Celtics staff member. Yeah, that's who he used to coach for, Boston Celtics. Mutually agreed upon a monthly $32,500 monthly child support. Regarding the timeshare, I may as the head coach for the Houston Rockets now, and he still got another job, has extensive travel commitments during the season and potential postseason playoffs. 
for the current 2023-2024 season, the parents agreed that for child support calculations, IMA has less than a 5% timeshare with their son, while Nia has approximately 95% timeshare with the 12-year-old in Los Angeles, California. Ooh, girl, you got a, you got a, ooh, you got a long time, too, for child support. If he go to college, girl, you got up until he, like, 25. Ooh, girl. High five, girl. Um... Time share with the 12 year old in Los Angeles, California in the agreement. I may is entitled to reasonable visitation. He ain't got no place in this little boy life. Obviously, obviously he, he when they was together, he wasn't really around. Obviously, um, I may is entitled to reasonable visitation, taking into account the kid's schedule and concerns, but not interfering with his time with I may. The parties will collaborate to facilitate the NBA coach's visitation. I may will provide long with written notice and a plan for the anticipated visit via email at least 10 days beforehand, which means it gives her enough time not to be there when he come either pick him up or come to see him. <laughs> According to the agreement, I may will maintain their son's health and dental insurance and he and Long will make decisions regarding the young lad's health, education, and welfare collaboratively. In cases of disagreement, Nia holds the authority to make decisions for him with advance notice to her former partner except for routine and emergency medical matters. As we reported, this comes from Yahoo Entertainment. As we reported several months ago, Nia Long filed legal documents seeking sole physical and legal custody of her son with visitation rights for IMA. In the documents, Long requested that her former flame cover all attorney fees related to the case. The move promptly marked the initial stage of a custody battle that could have involved discussions about child support. In fact, IMA responded to her filing by issuing one of his seeking joint custody of their baby boy. Boy, goodbye. The NBA coach requested shared physical and legal custody, including equal authority in essential decisions such as medical treatment, schooling, and religion. I may also indicated his willingness for visitation in the legal filing, suggesting a preference for the child to reside with long for school related reasons with visitation during off days or summer breaks. Basically you continue to do what you've been doing, taking care of him and I see him when I can on the weekends or when I'm not doing whatever I'm doing. Boy, get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Irks my soul. But shout out to Nia for getting that, that bag, honey, for her and her baby. She effed with a purpose. Okay. Yeah, he did her wrong. But she wasn't dealing with no broke. Okay. Okay. You're going to pay me for my pain in the words of Funky Doniva. All right. So if you're going to be with a man and risk getting your heart broke and make sure he got a coin, make sure your pockets will be swollen in the end, okay? And you ain't got to couch surf afterwards, okay? You and your babies can go on on and continue to live the same life you was living while you was with them. Mm -hmm. She deserved that 32000 and more. I would have went for the fifty. Mm -hmm. period, all right? Y'all let me know down below in the comment section what y'all think about this. Let's talk about it. Tell me what you think. Make sure to thumbs up this video, like, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell button. I love you guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.